thank you everyone for joining. Happy Friday. Um, we have a lot of new and exciting bolting launches coming up. So we're going to go ahead and dive into those today. So today, it will be myself presenting. My name is Tasha Weston. I am the Product Marketing Manager for Bolting. I also work with our pumps and our heavy lifting technology product groups as well. So if you have any marketing questions relating to those, definitely send them my way. And John Bice will be on the call today as well. He is the Director of Bolting for the Americas region. So any more of a product-oriented questions or commercial questions, send them his way. So today, the three bolting launches that we will cover are the RSL torque wrenches, the backup spanner, and equalizer tools. So these launches will be coming up for March 1st, so keep your eyes peeled for those. Like I said, all the lines are currently muted, but if you do have any questions that pop up during the webinar, feel free to hit the chat button and send them over. We can answer them at the end, but I will also unmute the lines at the end for you to ask questions that way as well. So for today's agenda, first we'll cover the Enterpack Bolting family, what that means and how it can be an asset for your sales team. We will go over the product overviews for each of these launches, cover their features and benefits, dive into their applicable markets and applications, and then also discuss some of the marketing materials that will be available at launch. So now I'll pass it over to John Bice. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Tasha, can you hear me okay? Yep, perfect. Excellent. Good morning. Thank you all very much for, uh, for taking some time to, to visit with us here as we, uh, we have a couple of exciting product launches uh, on the horizon um, coming up on March 1st. Uh, as Tasha mentioned, we're going to be focusing today's presentation on the RSL, a new torque wrench to the Enterpack line, uh, the backup spanner, a new accessory to the torque wrench line, and the equalizer flange alignment tools, which is a, an entirely new brand coming into the Enterpack family. Um, and as these are all three bolting focused, um, I wanted to take a, take a minute and, and take a slide to show uh, where our Enterpack bolting family is all coming together. Um, I'm in a, a new role within Enterpack, um, looking after all of our different bolting product lines to integrate them together under one house. Um, so we have you know, five major brands within the bolting space. Obviously, our biggest and strongest brand, which will be um, leading the charge, is our Enterpack brand with the S&W torque wrenches, the GT tensioners, um, and our, our strong bolting pumps. Now, coming underneath that Enterpack umbrella, we're going to have uh, four new brands coming in with Bioc, Equalizer, Sweeney, and Hydrotype, each with their own individual legacy and identity and brand power, and now being supported through the Enterpack distribution channel with yourself. Um, we are very excited for what the future of Enterpack industrial tools will bring, specifically with, with, a, with our renewed focus on bolting tools. So with that, um, we, like, I, like I mentioned, we are going to be uh, focusing the first half of this presentation on the RSL torque wrench line. Um, next slide, Tasha. The RSL uh, is a, a torque wrench brand name that has been in the torque wrench market um, for decades. It has a, a very strong secure place and we are very excited to introduce it into the Enterpack family and, and work it through the Enterpack channels and, uh, and see the growth potential that it can see. We went from a flagship S&W torque wrench as a single offering a great uh, steel bodied torque wrench to now having two, we were uh, interested in getting a mid-tier uh, torque wrench into the marketplace through the Enterpack channels so that we have a number one and a number two torque wrench. And the RSL, uh, traditionally, originally uh, drafted up by Sweeney, the Sweeney RSL, and then merged into the Hydrotite RSL, and now it is the Enterpack RSL, um, will meet that mid-tier extraordinarily well. It is a, uh, a full steel body torque wrench 
um, that is interchangeable between both a square drive and a hex cassette. Uh, so as you can see from the picture in the top right, the drive head as a standalone unit um, can be uh, bolted onto a hex cassette, which you see just below it, or the square drive in the bottom left. So it is a versatile interchangeable between a square drive head and a hex cassette, meaning that our asset owners, the customers out in the field, will have the opportunity to stick with one drive head for both a square drive and cassette. Another major, major benefit of the RSL torque wrench is its sim simple design. Uh, the internal guts of the, of the torque wrench, which you'll see in a later slide, is incredibly simplistic, very robust, and easy to maintain. It has three moving parts with the cylinder doing the advance and retract for different, uh, different torque outputs. And, and so that reduces the number of components that can wear, the number of components to inventory that could possibly need to be replaced. And therefore, it is one of the lowest maintenance torque wrenches on the market. It's also compact and lightweight with its stainless steel design. A number of other torque wrenches out in the marketplace use different alloys and softer materials, and therefore they need more bulk, more heft within their torque wrench to maintain the same level of strength. Because of the stainless steel design, we can keep a smaller profile while maintaining a high strength uh, torque wrench for both the square drive model and for the cassette model. Another great strength of the RSL is that it is designed in-house and manufactured in-house. Uh, these tools are made in Anago, Wisconsin, and, and have been for the previous decades a very strong manufacturing facility and engineering house that is now being combined with our historical Enterpac torque wrench teams. So our engineering headcount has significantly improved uh, to, to bolster our, our new torque wrench offering of both a number one wrench and a number two wrench. It also has a longstanding history and different bolting applications uh, in a number of different markets. Uh, a lot of success in oil and gas and power generation, and it is specced into a number of different applications, which, of course, will drive business through the doors of, uh, of yourself, our distributors, and, uh, and be able to give us some new opportunities um, that, uh, that may not have been available before. The bolt load and flange calculations uh, via software are available as well, and that will apply to both the legacy, our, our flagship S&W series torque wrenches, as well as our new mid-tier RSL torque wrenches. And it will come with a one-year standard warranty. Next slide, Tasha. So um, to dive a little bit deeper into the specific features and benefits, um, as it is a new wrench, on safety and performance, all of the internal moving parts are completely enclosed. There are no, no slides, no grips, no uh, thumb screws on the outside that are moving while the torque torque wrenches is providing torque, and therefore it minimizes the pinch points and keeps all the moving parts internally. The other great advantage of the RSL is it has a high swing stroke on it. So the 30 to 35 degrees of rotational um, force on every single advance of that torque wrench will add productivity and prevent a tool lock-on. So the tool lock-on where the torque wrench gets stuck onto the application is, is uh, not, a, not an issue with this torque wrench. It cannot be locked on. And again, with the 30 to 35 degree stroke on each advance of the torque wrench, you get the fastest tool under load in the marketplace. And then on to simplicity. Again, the simple robust design with, this, with the solid steel housing and just three moving parts will result in reduced maintenance, fewer spare parts, and more uptime for all of our customers. There's also two ro robust handles that are available on both a top configuration and a side configuration for either the cassette or the square drive. The optimum strength to weight ratio and torque to weight ratio. Because of the RSL steel body design, the torque output are at the higher end of its size range. Therefore, when you put the torque output up against the strength, or the weight rather, of the tool, you get a very strong ratio. We know that, that purchasing groups and other large uh, asset owners out in the field will run these calculations, and it becomes a, a very important value proposition as we're trying to, uh, to get more of our torque wrenches into their hands. 
Another big benefit of the steel housing is you get a minimal nose radius. Um, so that gives, get, allows the tool to fit into tighter places. And finally, the most significant difference between the RSL torque wrench and the vast majority of other torque wrenches out in the marketplace is the interchangeability between a square drive and a hex head, allowing you to use the drive unit, which is that top picture in the top right. You can bolt that drive unit again onto a cassette head or onto a square drive head. And we have a wide range of hex cassettes available for all different application types in all different torque output sizes. And the reaction arm is able to rotate um, into different configurations for a rapid change. It's heavily used in industrial, energy, and the oil and gas applications. Next slide, Tasha. So this is a great snapshot into the inner workings of the RSL and what makes this tool so powerful and so unique. As you can see, it has an incredibly small amount of components inside. And not only is it a, a, a small number of components, it is a very simple force design where there's only three moving parts. Starting in the cassette head where the nut goes, you have the ratchet wheel and the paw teeth, a drive shoe, a ratchet lever, and then of course your hydraulic piston. And with such minimal moving pieces, we find that wear and tear is extremely minimal. The maintenance is extraordinarily simple. And the tool is a best fit for a high usage extreme bolting condition. So a couple of changes that are going to be coming about from the RSL launching into the Interpack world. Of course, it had been in the Sweeney world originally, the Sweeney RSL, and then migrated into the Hydrotite RSL, and now becoming the all-black Interpack RSL torque wrench. The offering of it is going to change slightly. We are obviously now going to have it be this strong, very identifiable black color. It is an electroless nickel black plating. That's incredibly strong for the uh, environmental conditions that these wrenches sometimes see, um, giving it a, a very robust uh, coating on the outside. It also features yellow whip hoses, which you can see in that bottom right picture, which will give you more connection points into the hose lines on the different bolting applications. So as you can see, we, we've given the, the torque wrench a bit of a facelift by matching the whip hoses with a consistent color and giving it that black nickel plating color for a very identifiable torque wrench. It's going to come standard with Parker and Pioneer screw-on couplers. These are the most common couplers found in torque wrenches, hoses, and pumps out in the marketplace. So the tool should be very compatible across most tool fleets. Be sure to, to confirm that with your sites that you're gonna be working with if you have a demo opportunity or, or something but it will come standard with the Parker Pioneer screw-on couplers. And of course, all of these torque wrenches, both the S&W as a flagship torque wrench and the RSL as our mid-tier torque wrench, will be driven by our famous Interpack bolting pumps. The ZU platform and the ZE platform are great torque wrench pumps out in the marketplace today and widely accepted as the fastest, most robust pumps. Our pump um, center of excellence will continue to advance technologies in these pumps to coordinate them with the torque wrenches so that we have the best bolting portfolio available in the marketplace. So the main differences between the S&W line, which is our flagship torque wrench that you see in the, on the bottom in the left, you have our S-series square drive wrench. The main differences being that the RSL features one drive unit for both a square drive and the low profile tool, which I mentioned earlier. You do not have the swivel connector on the RSL, but rather direct fit whip hoses. So again, those are the two flexible hoses that are, are, are just uh, 18 inches long and give you lots of different connection points to your hoses depending upon the bolting application and how the torque wrench is configured on the application. The other difference is the W series, the cassette series of our S&W torque wrenches. The W cassettes all have the same maximum output. However, on the RSL due to the design, it does have different outputs for the cassettes. So as you see that middle cassette on the slide in front of you, you do have to confirm what the maximum output is of that cassette um, prior to, to uh, 
you know, ensuring that it fits on that application. Another difference is the pressure relief valve that you see on the yellow whip hoses. So if you look at that top picture and you follow the yellow whip hose down, you see that black uh, oval football shaped item that's, that's near the coupler. That's on the retract side and, uh, and is a, acts as a pressure relief valve uh, for the tool itself. So also a piece of, of difference between the RSL and the S&W. And then the, other, the, the last difference being the four volt change out between the cassette and the square drive. So if you look really closely at that top right, which is the drive unit, you'll see that there's four cap head screws or four bolts that are used to bolt onto either the cassette head or the square drive, depending upon the configuration that you are using for that torque wrench. So you undo those four bolts, you can swap out the different heads, bolt it back on, and you're back underway. To give you an idea of the size range that's available on the RSL, we wanted to show you the, the torque output as well as the model number. So this is also an update um, from the original Sweeney Hydrotite RSL into the Enerpack RSL. We wanted to make the nomenclature match a little bit closer to the, the traditional numbers used in the bolting market. So they are, are easily identifiable um, for, for different bolting customers out there. So starting on the low end, what traditionally would have been um, uh, viewed as an RSL2 is now going to be called an RSL 1500, which will put out 1408 foot-pounds of torque. Going up to the RSL 3000, 5000, 8000, 11000, 19000, and 28000. So the overall torque range being on the low end, 1408 foot-pounds of torque all the way up to 28,000 foot-pounds of torque. And as you're out in the marketplace and talking to different end users and contractors and asset owners, you can ask them about their Sweeney wrenches, about their Hydrotite wrenches, and we'll be able to convert their legacy numbers into the Enerpak nomenclature and get to them uh, the, the new Enerpak RSL offering. We're focusing on standard sizes um, at, at the first launch. Uh, our March 1st launch will be focused on the standard sizes available. But over time, we will work in more and more of the different hex sizes and configuration of, of RSLs out in the space. So as you can see, a very wide range of, of torque outputs from the 1400 all the way up to the 28,000. Some more specifics on model numbers. For the hex cassettes, um, we are going to uh, move the cassettes into uh, the new nomenclature, which will be RLP, R standing for RSL, L standing for low profile, and the number which will follow, the 1107, will refer to what the torque output, um, what the drive unit is that it attached to, as well as the across the flat nut size for the hex head. So the RLP 1107 will mate up to an RSL 1500 drive unit, and it will fit onto an inch and 7 16 hex head. On the metric side, we're going to use a similar, similar uh, nomenclature with the RLP, again, to be the, the, the leading uh, letters for the cassette, and it will be RLP 3055M. The 3055M will signify that that cassette mates up to an RSL 3000 drive unit, and the across-the-flat nut size is 55 millimeter hex. And you can see that it will go up from there. The RLP 5200, the RLP 8, 11, 19, and 28, so on and so forth. Your TMs will be able to work with you on specific tool lists and model numbers so you can dial it in for an exact uh, uh, quoting opportunity, an exact application. Um, but, the, but the nomenclature here is going to be significantly more streamlined than it has been in the past. Another offering within the RSL cassette is that we offer a, a blowout preventer or a, uh, a BOP slimline tool. So you, you all might be familiar with the W series cassettes that come in a slimline offering, the SL version of the W cassettes. The RSL has the exact same feature where you take our already uh, low profile cassette and we actually narrow it down a little bit more where you see these steps. If you look in the dead center of that slide, you have that cassette where you see the steps in, which makes the profile slightly narrower on that cassette and allows it to get into extremely tight 
uh, applications, typically found on a blowout preventer and other small, um, excuse me, other small applications. So that will be the slimline piece. For the square drive heads, we will be using RSQ to identify the different square drive um, attachments that you can put onto a drive unit. And then the numbers will remain the same for the different torque outputs, starting at the 1500, going all the way up to the 28,000. Now, as you would, uh, if you would like to get a complete square drive set, a very common purchase for a, a square drive in the RSL world, where we would typically, it, in the past, it would be an RSL4 SDS, it will now become an RSQ3000 ST. The ST is going to signify that it is a set, meaning that it comes with the drive head, the reaction arm, and the square drive for that particular size range, whether it be the RSQ1500 all the way up to the 28,000. So again, when we wanted to get from the Interpac bolting portfolio, we have a very, very strong um, product offering racehorse, if you will, with the S&W wrench. It is our flagship wrench. Uh, we are remarkably proud of it out in the marketplace, and it is a great performing wrench. However, we recognize the need to also get a mid-tier wrench into our product offering. So we can have multiple price points, uh, we can have different features and benefits to serve different customer needs. Some sites are gonna be more cost conscious, some sites are gonna be looking for the highest features and benefits tool that they can find. Well now, Enterpac is going to be able to offer both. We have the S&W as our flagship, and again, the RSL as our mid-tier. So what to do with that mid-tier? Uh, we want to make sure that the pricing is, is somewhat in line, significantly in line with what the historical S&W pricing is. That's what our customers have come to expect. That's what um, all of the end users are, are aware of, and we want the new RSL to follow that same strategy. So on the square drive tools, we're going to be pricing the RSQ, the, meaning the RSQ, the RSL square drive tools, about 10% below the S-series pricing. And on the very competitive cassette world, um, the hex cassette world, we're going to be taking the RLP, the RSL low profile cassette heads, and pricing them roughly 20% below the W series. This is going to give us all a, a pricing differentiator, more of a conversation with our customers to tailor exactly what their application needs are, what's the life of the job, what's the life of the tools, do they, do they maintain their tools in-house, or are they... Are they simply uh, buying it short term? Are they owning it long term? What is their exact situation? Let's partner with them. Let's get them the best offering that we can by now offering two different tiers of torque wrenches into the marketplace. Um, the RSL has an historically strong position and value proposition already in the maintenance, repair, and operations market um, from a power gen and an oil and gas standpoint. So we're, we're going to take advantage of that already strong, robust position of the RSL and now serve it through our incredibly robust channels and distributors like all of yourself. We are going to continue to have our flagship S&W um, to, to put all of our features and benefits in, and again, this will be the mid-tier. So with that, Tasha, I'll pass it back to you for some of the marketing details. All right, thanks, John. So for the launch of the RSL, it will be combined with the backup spanner that we will be discussing shortly. So for the launch, you can expect the technical brochure. It's a pretty lengthy one, so we'll go into all the detail for all the uh, different hex cassettes and square drive head options. Um, we will also have a spec sheet flyer available as well. So that will be an abbreviated version of the, torque of the technical brochure, so just giving an um, just a summary of the new RSL series, so something a little bit shorter to leave with customers or even to share internally. We will have a sell sheet that will go over some of the information in this training in a condensed format, highlight some of these key features, the differences from the S&W, and then a little bit of the competitive um, layout. We will have a press release going out to get some more attention in the market, let people know about this launch. 
And like usual, we will have a distributor marketing package available online that will include some of the items above, as well as banners that you can see at the bottom, um, some cut and paste copy that your team can easily use for email campaigns or for your website, and with that, some high-res photos as well. Something to look out for is we have a new Bolting catalog coming up for September 1st. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of Bolting launches coming up, so we want to make sure to update that with our latest information, so that way you can use that for, uh, with your customers. And just a reminder, don't forget about, if you haven't heard about it, here's a, or if you need a reminder, there is a link that you can only access directly through the link. It's a hidden page. You can't navigate it from enterpack.com. So it's just an additional resource for our distributors and our sales team to know what's coming up for launches, to see what's on the horizon, as well as to view any of the marketing content. And it's all in one spot for you, so it's really easy to access. So once you get this link, just make sure you bookmark it so then you don't have to worry about typing it in anymore. So with the training, when I send out the um, recording of this training, I'll make sure to include that link as well. So now we will move on to the backup spanner. That is a, it will be a great accessory with the RSL torque wrench to help with stopping nut rotation. Thanks, Tasha. Yeah, and, and uh, another product launch that we have coming up March 1st as a, as a new accessory with our torque wrenches is the backup spanner. We're bringing this uh, tool in as, a, as an accessory for the W series, the cassette drive torque wrenches um, that's used on, on typically on job sites. And we have a wide range of um, metric size being 27 all the way up to 120, and in the imperial size being an inch in the 16th, all the way up to four and five eighths. Uh, this is a figure eight type tool, as you can see in the picture. So it will actually fit two different nut sizes per tool which will limit the, uh, the number of backup spanners you'd have to have in a toolbox. Um, you can see that black Allen key that's in the picture. That is going to a grub screw or an Allen screw that is tightening onto the nut so that you can secure that backup spanner onto the nut and then um, take your hands away for safety. And it also features a no drop lanyard. So you can attach that lanyard onto the flange um, and make sure that uh, as you are working on that bolt, you've got some drop protection there on the, sp on the spanner. Uh, it, is, it will be featured in our catalog there with that pictorial that you see on the right that goes through the different size ranges. Again, a great accessory pickup for us uh, for the uh, uh, W Series cassettes and the RLP cassettes from the RSL. Um, so we're excited to launch that one as well. There won't be obviously a lot of technical uh, data sheets on this uh, accessory as it's a, a pretty basic piece um, and your, your TMs will certainly be able to walk you through the, uh, the, the W series offerings and then, and then how this can, can correlate into it. All right, another big exciting piece that we have coming in. Um, those of you that, uh, that follow LinkedIn and, uh, and the other web pages and, and large org announcements um, will have seen that, that we have acquired a, a, a great company um, that does flange alignment tools called Equalizer Tools. Uh, we acquired them last year and are excited to bring them into the fold, introduce them into the Enterpack catalog, um, and, uh, and spread it throughout our, our great distribution network. Uh, Equalizer Tools focuses on flange alignment, flange separation, and overall joint integrity maintenance tools. They offer a safe, cost-effective, and simple solution for your flange aligning, spreading, and pulling on the applications. Traditionally, folks were using uh, chain falls and come-alongs and, and um, low, low technology um, devices to try to, to, to do their flange management, whether they were bolting up or whether they were changing out a gasket, um, it was a very low-tech solution. Um, and Equalizer came around and said, let's add some hydraulics, let's add some mechanical force to this, uh, to this process, and uh, we can make it safer, more controllable, um, and an overall uh, easier maintenance cycle for, for all flange work. All tools are supplied, are ready to use in sets, meaning they can come straight out of the box and, uh, and you will be able to go straight onto your, your flange work. So again, the traditional methods always being come-alongs, uh, low technology, banana wedges, uh, different things like that for doing flange maintenance. 
and Equalizer focusing on the safe, simple, cost-effective, powerful, portable, and time-saving uh, solution. It actually reminds me very much of the, the torque wrench from 20, 25 years ago, where uh, there were plants and sites that were using very low-tech slugging wrenches and, and very basic tools that were not inherently safe, uh, labor-intensive, um, and, and very uncontrolled uh, methods for bolting. We introduced the hydraulic torque wrench into the market space, and it has completely revolutionized controlled bolting. More safety, more control, more precision, um, and ultimately time savings and, and, a better, and better integrity on any of your bolting solutions. Equalizer is this exact same technology shift change within the flange management, flange maintenance um, side of the world. So we're going to walk into a plant or a site and have a conversation with how they are spreading their wedges for gasket changeouts, how are they aligning their flanges when they're doing a new install or, or upgrading a certain section of piping. And we're going to ask them how they do that, and, and we want to introduce this new safe control technology. So the first uh, category that we're going to focus on is the uh, flange spreading tools. Uh, it is exactly as it sounds. It is the uh, spreading wedge. Um, and you guys may be familiar with the uh, FSH-14 um, that Enterpac has traditionally had. This was actually a legacy equalizer tool um, that we partnered with Equalizer for in the past, and now we're bringing their entire product folio, uh, portfolio in-house. So for use on small, medium, and large flange joints, we have a, a, all different size ranges, and the biggest thing being different uh, spreading forces, all the way up to 50 tons of hydraulic force and 28 tons of mechanical force. We also have ATEC certified tools uh, for, for use in severe environments, and they offer a no pinch point solution. The latest spreading wedge um, is our small uh, mini wedge for a minimum access gap of under a, a 16 um, hundredths of an inch with a spreading force of 10 tons when used in pairs. And traditionally, these spreading wedges are used at um, you know, midnight and 6 o'clock um, uh, as opposing sides so you get even flange spreading. As you can see, the traditional methods have been a plain wedge being driven down the center on the left, a prying tool, which was not um, applying equal force, but was able to pry open the flange. And then you get all the way to the newest technology, the safest and best technology, being the equalizer step wedge spreading. So as you can see from that pictorial, the wedge goes down into that flange and applies equal forces directly perpendicular from the flange. So therefore, you get perfect forces of 90 degrees that are spreading that wedge out. Rather than getting prying or, or getting uh, opposing forces that, would, that, would, that could possibly damage the flange itself, this stepped wedge goes right in and applies perfectly perpendicular forces out. Again, on the traditional methods, uh, not a lot of technology, um, very, very uncontrolled uh, process of doing it, um, and we want to bring in the, the safer, more controlled method being the equalizer method. Another type of a flange spreading tool where the first one that we showed you was the wedge that, of course, is, is going in and then spreading it from the ID of the flange. We also have a, a secure grip spreader, which is actually an OD, if you will, an, an, an outside diameter mounted flange spreading tool, uh, which actually grips into the bolt holes of the flange and then spreads it out. And we can go uh, just over a half an inch up to a four inch bolt hole to grip into that flange and then pull it out from the OD of the flange. So if you don't have an access gap or, uh, or where there is a spacer, a wafer, or a butterfly valve positioned in between the flanges, you can use this secure grip tool to get it out. And we also make that tool all the way up to a spreading force of 50 tons when using in pairs. A couple of different applications. You can see some butterfly valves down in that uh, hole on those flanges or when they're doing a gasket change out, um, the equalizer tool is able to go in and grip those bolt holes and securely and safely separate out that flange in a con controlled fashion. If you're using come-alongs or chain falls or banana wedges that are just being mashed in there, 
It is not a controlled environment. It is not a, a controlled process. The valve changeout tool, again, for use on all different flange types with bolt holes ranging from an inch and a half all the way up to four and a quarter inches. It's adjustable to enable the tool to operate in a variety of different applications. And a spreading force of up to 22 and a half tons when used in pairs. It is infinitely reconfigurable by utilizing the supplied extensions and adjusting the tension rod length the tools can be reconfigured to suit a huge range of flange thickness from zero inches all the way to 27 inches of, of flange thickness. So when you think about the, uh, the, the thickness of a flange, um, that's getting all the way up to, to 27 plus inches, a very wide range. Next slide, please. Uh, so after the, the, the flange spreading, if you're doing a, a gasket change out, and then you're gonna be bolting up the flange, bringing it back together for, for a new install or if, you're, or if you're replacing a gasket and now bringing that, that uh, flange back together, you can use hydraulic or mechanical advantage to, again, create a safe, controllable solution. And that's our equalizer flange alignment tools. They can be used on horizontal flanges or vertical flanges for ANSI, ASME, API, BS, um, and other flanges. They operate on most pipe configurations with a minimum bolt hole of just over a half an inch up to just under an inch and a half. And it has reaction forces of up to nine tons. So if you picture those, those, the, the flange coming together and it having a half an inch gap or even less, even an eighth of an inch gap, you can see on this picture on the left, they can apply the equalizer flange alignment tools. In the picture in the right, you, you see a mechanical one where it's using screw type or mechanical forces to do the alignment. You're able to bring those joints together, align those bolt holes, and put, put the bolt stud through it safely and in a controlled fashion, and then carry forward with your, with your bolt up. So you can see why Enterpac uh, recognized the importance of flange alignment tools in conjunction with our, our S&W torque wrench and our RSL torque wrench. As we expand our bolting portfolio, the flange alignment tools is a perfect fit as it is often used just before and just after lots of bolting applications. So uh, the, the folks at, at Equalizer uh, also wanted to be uh, innovative with their existing technology of flange alignment tools and apply it to new markets. So they looked at the renewable energy space and the wind tower flanges, and they found that they could take their, their same flange alignment technology, reconfigure it a little bit, and offer, again, a safe, controllable device for the alignment of the tower flanges as they're stacking up a wind tower. What they've found is that as the wind tower tubes are going up and down the highways that some of us have seen on the, on the big trucks being transported to a wind site for construction, the towers are actually going oblong. They're, they're going out of round in transportation. Certainly not by much, but all it takes is an eighth of an inch of, of it going out of round, and those tower sections don't perfectly line up. So instead of beating with a hammer or, or alignment pins or sledges or something like that that would be uncontrolled and less safe, the equalizer team came up with the tower flange alignment tool. Again, taking that same mechanical and hydraulic advantage of aligning a, a uh, traditional flange that's vertical or horizontal and now using it for opposing forces for a aligning a tower flange tool. We've had tremendous success with this tool already in Europe and the US, the, the North American wind markets are already taking hold and, and asking uh, for it on their new construction build sites. And that's uh, reiterating again the, the, the different how the bolt holes don't line up on the wind tower alignment. And another uh, product category in the equalizer side is the nut splitter. Of course, uh, Enterpack has a range of nut splitters uh, as well, and this, uh, these equalizer nut splitters will be a complement uh, to that, and we have a range of seven, uh, 7 eighths inch all the way up to 2 and 15 sixteenths across the flat. Um, it's, a, it's a new design for, for our existing nut splitter line, and we're excited to add it in. Um, equalizers uh, Innovation and, and Engineering Group put, uh, put some additional thought into the handle and the configuration of this nut splitter and, uh, and we're, we're excited to add it into our existing nut splitter line. Uh, another flange device will be a flange pulling tool. 
Um, so that's again for using on vertical or horizontal flanges um, with a minimum bolt hole of 0.87 inches and a closing force of up to 22 and a half tons when used in pairs. So again, you would take these flange pulling tools, put them onto opposing sides, and you can get up to 22 pounds or 22 tons of force uh, for, for helping you pull flanges. And we can pull flanges a distance of, of just over 23 inches, obviously all the way down to zero to, to, close, a, to close a flange up entirely and, and get it bolted together. And the last category in the equalizer product family are the hydraulically sealed hand pumps. Now, of course, Enterpack is known all around the world for our hand pumps, um, but this is a, a new and exciting take on hand pumps uh, as equalizer came up with the hydraulic sealed hand pump meaning that that hand pump can be used in any orientation without the risk of oil spills or air contamination. It is a 10,000 PSI rated uh, pump like we are all used to, uh, and it is available in three different sizes, 350 cc, 550 cc, and 1,000 cc capacity versions. There's a single and a twin, plunt, twin port hand pump, um, and you can also get it with an ATEX rating. So this will be operating nut splitters, and you can use two different nut splitters on opposing sides. And again, we're excited to increase our hand pump offering with this new equalizer sealed hand pump. Again, showing you uh, some illustrations of, of how hand pumps can be used in different vertical configurations. And the seal bag for that hydraulic fluid is so important to be able to use that hand pump in any configuration. And back to you, Tasha. All right, so for the marketing materials for this launch, um, there will be a distributor marketing package available as well, and will be available on that same link I mentioned earlier. So that will include the Equalizer brochure going through all their different products. The Enterpack website will also be updated with product pages with all these new tools that are now available. A press release will come out, and then there are also some videos that are already online. So if you check out Equalizer's YouTube channel, you can see some videos of these products in action. Um, so that could be good for you to look at internally and also to share with your customers. So in, uh, in summary, um, like we, we started the, the top of the presentation, these three product launches are, are going to be officially kicked off March 1st. And we wanted to get a webinar as a kick off the, the, all of your teams to start spreading the word is you're going to see some marketing material that come out. Your TMs will be sitting down and having conversations with you. We're going to have uh, some demo programs coming up and some, some really exciting things surrounding all things bolting. Uh, on the Equalizer product line, again, remember these, these new categories as a, as a completely new product range within uh, the Interpack catalog with the exception of the spreading wedge. So some, some great new products coming out there that we're excited to talk about flange management and bringing in the RSL as our new mid-tier torque wrench. Again, we're, we're, we're uh, taking our flagship S&W wrench, and we are adding to it um, by offering the new mid-tier RSL torque wrench. So that's all of our prepared remarks for today. Uh, we'd like to open up the line. The uh, conference again, has been unmuted. <laughs> Again, my name is John Bice, uh, and, uh, and happy to take your questions either over the phone now or certainly by email uh, or, or phone calls down the road. Uh, we, are, we are happy to support. Hi, it's line has been unmuted. Are there any questions? As far as the uh, right. actual, this is Calvin with IFP South here in Houston. Can you hear me? Hey, Calvin. Sure How's can. it going, guys? Good. Um, Good. As far as the actual, uh, I'm, I'm at a miss if the uh, um, the presentation will be available uh, through that marketing link, or is that going to be something that we can get emailed personally? Just we'll kind of go, go back over. Yep, it will be emailed. Okay, and perfect. It will also be available on our website under support and then training videos. That's also, right. You can find any of the past videos, they'll all be there. And you guys said the actual uh, literature and everything will be around uh, September time frame is when we will have uh, in hand uh, uh, like you know line sheets and or uh, material documentation, et cetera. That will be for the new bolting catalog, just in general uh, mm -hmm. update catalog. But 
for materials for these launches will be available March. Perfect. Yeah, Calvin, we'll have lots of supporting documents with every launch um, as they roll out. So, but the new uh, the new bolting catalog that's going to include all of the launches is, is September. And I'm assuming the, uh, the the reason to go away from the swivel connection on these hand tools, uh, uh, I mean, obviously you guys have done a lot of research for the purpose of that, but uh, I've, I've seen in the past uh, locations where if that swivel wasn't, uh, you know, able to go a full 180, et cetera, or, you know, in certain directions, it, uh, it would have binded us or kept us in, in, a, in, a, in a spot. But the flexibility of those ends, those are just going to be more like of a standard 10,000 PSI 3.8 uh, type hose uh, that y'all have, have used in the past, On, I'm assuming. So it's, the radius is pretty good, but uh, have you, I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming, like I said, you guys tested that and just saw a reason to get away from the swivel or? What, or yeah, that, 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 that you're, 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 you're spot on, Calvin, that uh, we are, we're keeping the swivel on the S&W, the flagship line. So okay. we wanted to streamline the RSL line. Uh, traditionally, that RSL has been used in the service industry, uh, mm -hmm. where it is, it is used as a service bolting wrench, sees a lot of abuse, uh, sees a lot of use, and it keeps on running, keeps performing well. And one of the reasons why is it has, you know, uh, it doesn't have that swivel function that, that wears down over time. So the whip gotcha. hoses offer that robust offering, but we also understand that it is, it is technically a de-featured, Tool from the S and W flagship, which does offer the swivel. Okay, okay, that that makes sense. I, I missed that part because uh, I, I came a little late. I apologize, but all right, that's perfect. All right, well, thank you guys. You no worries. Great thanks job. For questions. Yeah, thanks. I do have one question that came up on WebEx. So it's, um, they asked, "Will the existing competitor tool trade and program apply to the new RSL tools?" So technically, the um, that promo did expire. Um, we are still honoring anything that did come through, but we will be renewing this program um, soon. And yes, oh. it will include the RSL tools in this program. Are there any other questions? Uh, nope. Thank you. We will wrap it up. Thank you, everyone, and have a fantastic weekend. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.